if you've never grown anything before, I'm going to give you three or four seeds that you can grow. It's going to give you a lot of food, and you're going to be very happy when we're done. I'm going to plant along with you, as advertised. But we got to go to the store and see what we can find. Come on, let's go. Of course, we have all kind of containers, and I do like these burpees. These are also very nice. And there's also peat pot containers. And then we've got a large variety of soils that we can choose from. Depending on how much you want to spend, you can get really expensive. But a lot of these potting mixes are going to work just fine. And the regular garden soil or top soil would probably do. If you like shopping, that was pretty cool. Okay, so we got oh, and right here, a dollar twelve. I'm gonna get a couple of those, but we can grow up. Didn't have any holes in it, but it's pretty simple. Let's take a screwdriver, and you don't even have to push very hard. You put a couple holes in it. The other thing that we're looking for, and these grow really well in a container, are cherry tomatoes. You know, we can get something, we can get something cool like that, one of these super sweets. I got one of the little bigger ones for the cherry tomatoes. See, one of the things we're looking for is a lettuce. So out of everything we have here, I think gourmet blend. I think we're going to go with this loose leaf. This gives us quite a variety. So we're going to plant lettuce in the small one. We're going to plant a tomato in the big one with a couple other things. Now another thing that companion plants very well and grows very easy are basil. This sweet basil is a really nice variety. And another thing I'm looking for is a radish. Oh, we're gonna have to have some carrots also. See the problem? There's so many things to choose from. But I think since we're gonna plant cherry tomatoes, let's do this cherry bell. Despite what it says on the seed packs, the display had these offered a little bit. So we didn't spend more than $1.50 or $2. So if you're going to take your bigger container, a tomato, and the soil we bought, we're still right at that $10 mark. We take the little container and just lettuce and a little bit of that soil, we're way under the $10 mark. Now, so. For the bigger one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, and this is potting soil, and this bigger container, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this potting soil, and I'm going to fill it about three quarters, and make sure it's kind of snugged in there, not too packed, maybe a little more, and on our smaller container, I'm going to put just a little bit, about a quarter in there. Now we've got a little decent little potting mix in there. We have like Jiffy seed starter. I think we'll get a bag of that. But our seed starter mix is what we're going to put on the top. We don't need the whole thing full of seed starter since the seeds are really little. So leave yourself, fill your container, leave yourself a couple inches. About to the second knuckle, leave yourself a little room. That's going to be important because we're going to put mulch there once these start sprouting. Same thing on your smaller container. So now you got your seed starting mix, and it's pretty light and fluffy. We got these super sweets, but I want to try this honeycomb. This looks fun. I got five seeds in there. I'm going to plant all five of them right in the center. And if they all five germinate, we can up pot them. And you just want soil contact right there. 
here where we're going to add our lettuce. We got a nice mix of lettuce seeds. You can see the different kinds, different colors. I'm going to scatter these liberally across the top because these also transplant very well. But I'm also going to make a little smiley face. Just take your finger about an inch from the edge, make just a little trench, and then just fill that with seeds. And then just kind of cover that back over lightly. Okay, we're companion planting with our lettuce. Our tomato, which will grow out of this container, is only going to get about four feet tall because we're going to constrain those roots in this small container. Now you want to do that if you're going to grow it inside or on your balcony or in the house or on your patio. But we're also going to put just a couple. Don't get too carried away. Just pour out. If you're going to companion plant, I'm going to put some radishes about a quarter of the way on the other side. So I got a half a dozen radishes in here. Good soil contact, just lightly cover those. Now if you like basil, you can do the same thing. The tomato grows, will be able to harvest the radishes. You can eat the radish tops. The lettuce will grow really nicely. It'll be a nice little bouquet around the outside. And on the tomato, you can eat the tomato plant itself. I bet you didn't know that. So what we're growing is a little pot of fruits and vegetables. Okay, I'm just gonna put a light little bit more of the seed starting mix over the top of every make sure everything's good and covered and then we're gonna lightly water it all in and just set this inside at a sunny window same thing with that and in a few days we're gonna get some sprouts I'm gonna do this right along with you and then I'll show you what we're gonna do then but we did the hard part that was the shopping now we got our soil and we got our seeds and we've already planted and that's all we have to do for tonight and this is really how easy it is and it's very fun and I'm gonna grow these two on my patio right along with you if you got any questions just leave a comment we'll get this growing till next time remember take care of yourself take care of your family and God bless you